What is going on comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce and today is Thursday, December 15th of 2022. Guys, before we dive into the show, I do want to remind everyone who's watching this video right now, tomorrow night, December 16th at 10 p.m. Eastern on this channel right here, we're doing a live stream. It's our big holiday live stream. It's the first live stream in nine months and it's the first comics and beer live stream in over a year. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna be drinking beers. We're gonna be talking about comic news. We're gonna be playing games. So guys, make sure you guys download the Kahoot app. It's gonna be how you guys can interact with us and play the games with us. And also we're gonna do giveaways every 15 minutes. So make sure you guys are tuning in for that. And now we can get into this video right here which is final order cutoff speculation and recommendations this is the video where I take a look at this upcoming weekend's final order cutoff to try to figure out if there's any books worth speculating on so that way we can try to make this hobby fun itself but also if there's any books worth picking up based on the story itself and mainly this will be new number ones or any big books that I think you guys have to have in your collection based on the story itself. That is what this video is all about. So let's dive into the speculation part of this video. But before we do that, we're gonna go over my two speculation reminders. <laughs> All right, guys, if we're going to talk about speculation, I need to give you guys my two reminders. And the first one will always be, guys, you have to take everything I say about speculation with the grain of salt. So what I suggest is you guys have to do your own research. What you guys should do is go check out the comic book YouTubers you trust, other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself. Because remember, you're spending your own hard-earned money on these books, not my money your money. And the second and final reminder that I have for you guys is that there are delays in comic books. So sometimes you will see the same book on Final Order Cut Off for multiple weeks in and that is because its release date got pushed for one reason or another. So those are my two reminders. Let's go ahead and dive into Final Order Cut Off speculation. With my reminders out of the way, I want to let you guys know, if you guys are interested in picking up any of the books that I'm going to talk about in today's video, you guys need to get your pre-orders in by December 18th for your DC Vault and Scout books and December 19th for your Marvel and all the other indie titles. All right, guys, with that out of the way, let's finally dive into Final Order Cutoff Speculation, and we're going to kick it off with my Cover Lover Picks. All right, guys, I've gone through every single cover on Final Order Cutoff, and there's only one book that I think you guys might want to consider for speculation. This is my Cover Lover Pick, and it is for Harley Quinn issue number 26, the cover B done by Alex Gardner. Now, I think this cover is absolutely fantastic. There's so much to like about this cover. The line work done by Alex Gardner is absolutely fantastic. Whoever the colorist was on this did a freaking fantastic job. It features Harley Quinn. She's kind of leaning over two henchmen that she's totally knocked out and it is gorgeous. There's a lot of a sex appeal in this as well. If you guys will actually look at the detail on Harley Quinn, it is just amazing. I love this cover, but I do want to say I think this is probably going to be a long-term hold. There's been so many amazing Harley Quinn covers that I think this one will make the most money down the line. Years in the future, after people have forgotten about this cover, they, and then someone's going to bring it back, and everyone's going to go, what? And you're going to have yourself a couple copies of this, and you'll be able to make a couple of bucks off it, and you know, start to make this hobby fund itself. All right, guys, that is my cover lover pick. Let's go ahead and dive into all the books that have speculation coming out on this weekend's Final Order Cutoff. All right, guys, I found eight books that have speculation on Final Order Cutoffs. Let's dive into these books. And the first one up is Action Comics, issue number 1051. Now, this has a new format. There's going to be three stories, and they're in anthology format. And the solicitation says, This issue marks the first appearance of new characters, new costumes, and a new era for Action Comics. And there are some amazing covers for this, guys. So, guys, keep an eye out for that if there's any covers that you really enjoy. But, guys, that is the speculation. New Superman characters. And after that, we have Blue Beetle Graduation Day issue number three with the first appearance of Green Beetle. After that, we're diving into some Marvel books. We have Bishop War College issue number one. This is a five issue limited series, and this has the first team appearance of a team led by Bishop that includes Armor, Surge, Cam Long, Aura Charles, and a mass. I haven't heard a lot of those characters, but those are the characters on the team. Next up is Bloodline Daughter of Blade issue number one. This is the origin of Brielle in the debut of New Powers. After that, we have Red Goblin issue number one with Normie Osborne 
everyone bonded with the symbiote in an ongoing series. That is the key thing right there, ongoing series. After that, we have Silver Surfer Ghostlight, issue number one with the first appearance of Ghostlight, formerly Al Harper, who was introduced and died in Silver Surfer number five, all the way back in 1969. After that, we have Star Wars Santa Staros, issue number one. And this is the first solo series featuring Santa Staros. And the last book that has speculation on Final Order Cutoff that I could find is Storm in the Brotherhood of Mutants, issue number one, with the first appearance of Iron Fire, the possible first appearance of Auntie Fortune, and also the reintroduction of Rasputin from House of 10 powers of 10. All right, guys, those are all the books on Final Order cut off that has speculation. Stick around, and I'll give you my spec pick of the week. All right, guys, after going over those books one more time, there's one that just sticks out, and that is Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, issue number one, with the origin of Brielle and the debut of New Powers. Now, why I think this is the book to go after is because there's been a lot of buzz around this character, and I believe they're going to be building her up, and there is that new Blade movie with Marshall Ali that's coming out down the line, and what a better way to introduce the Daughter of Blade than in that movie. And then they get a younger version of Blade, that they can move forward after Marshall Ali walks away from the Blade role because, you know, he probably only signed a two or three year deal and they can sign this younger actress for a much longer term deal and that's what they're doing in the MCU right now is building up all these younger characters so that way they can get a new cast of characters to possibly build a new Avengers around. So I would guess Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, issue number one is the book to go after. Now, I would not go into this book heavily. I'd probably get myself three, maybe five copies of this book and then go from there. There are a lot of covers for this book. I did not like a majority of the ones that have been released so far. As we get closer to the book's release date, well, more of these covers will be released. There might be some better ones in there, but right now I'm only gonna go after cover A myself. Guys, let me know down in the comments below. Was there a book that you liked more than Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, issue number one? One, or do you think that this pick is a bad pick and everyone should just save their money? All right, guys. Now, I know I have said in the past I'm not doing new comic book day speculation anymore, but I took a look at Key Collector app, and there are zero books that I think you guys want to consider for actual speculation, but there are a few cover lover picks that I want to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and dive into my new comic book day cover lover spec pick. All right, guys, there are two covers that got me really excited once I went through all the books coming out on next week's new comic book day, which is December 21st of 2022. And I just had to share these with you guys because I think these could be great speculation books, but also just great books to add to your collection. And the first one up is for Nightwing issue number 99, one issue away from issue 100. But guys, this cover is absolutely fantastic. This is the cover E. This is the one in 50 done by Bruno Redondo. Now this looks a lot like the cover A, but guys, they added a lot of text behind Nightwing that just helped describe everything about him. And I think this is just going to be fantastic. I am a big Nightwing fan and I want this cover. I would pay a premium for this cover because that is how good this cover is. Bruno Rodano is an amazing artist and this cover just looks absolutely fantastic. Guys, let me know what you think about this cover down in the comments below. And there is one other cover that I want to share with you guys and it is for Vanish issue number four. This is the cover F. This is also the one in 50 and this is done by Daniel Warren Johnson. Now there is a trade dress of this cover right here but guys this one right here stands out to me it is a virgin and this is a lot like the tyler kirkham battle damage covers but done by daniel warren johnson and this looks absolutely fantastic now i personally am really enjoying the vanish book i know there's a lot of other people that are also enjoying this book and i think people are going to want this cover because i want this cover and this is this is fantastic this is amazing put this in a slab signed by daniel warren johnson with a nice little remark up there in the yellow Gorgeous, amazing, I would love that. So those are my two new comic book day cover lover spec picks for you guys for December 21st of 2022. So guys, don't miss out on those two covers and let's go ahead and move over to Final Order Cutoff Recommendations. Guys, there are four books that you guys just have 
to be picking up for the story on Final Order cut off this weekend. Now, if you guys need a reminder, you guys need to get your pre-orders in by December 18th for your DC Scout and Vault books and December 19th for your Marvel and all the other indie titles. But these are all indies and I believe these can all be pre-ordered by December 19th. So that's just a little reminder for you guys. But guys, let's go ahead and dive into these books. And the first one up is Black Coat. Issue number one is on Final Order cut off and it's written by Kelly Thompson and art by Meredith McLaren. Now, the main reason why I'm putting this book on this list is because of the writer Kelly Thompson. I loved what she did on Black Widow over at Marvel. She took a character that was really interesting and she made her amazing. She gave her some huge character depth and I absolutely loved it. There's a lot of feels in there and that is the main reason why this book is on this list. But guys, just listen to the synopsis. All right. Blade Runner style mixes with saga as drama and a delectable fantasy sci-fi blend as two black coats try to solve the murder of the beloved Prince of Kairos, the last city in the known world, before his murder tips the city into war. The mystery begins in a spectacular triple length first issue for just $4.99. So if you guys like Saga and you like the idea of Blade Runner and you mix those two together and the writer Kelly Thompson, this book might be for you. Now I do want to caveat this. I did check out the previews for this book and the artwork is bleh. I'm not really a fan of what I saw, but guys, there are some really cool covers and I'm going to be picking this up just because of the writer. I'm really into her writing, so I'm giving this book a shot. Guys, let me know if you've already pre-ordered this book or if the synopsis I just read has got you intrigued. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move into the next book, which might be my favorite book on this list, and that is Nemesis Reloaded, issue number one. Now, this is written by Mark Millar and art by Jorge Amenes. Guys, that is an incredible team right there. Mark Millar has been one of my favorite writers for a very long time, and Jorge Amenes is my favorite artist. I think he is just incredible. The way he does action and everything else is just hands down the best. And the fact that he's on Nemesis, so freaking good. All right, guys, this is a mini series, but let me go ahead and read the synopsis that was on previews. All right, guys, the world's most evil comic book is back. Who is Nemesis? And why does this eccentric billionaire who dresses up in a mask and cape want to terrorize people instead of helping him? Isn't that how this is supposed to go? Trigger warning, too violent and cool for some. That's really all the information you get. But guys, this is basically a more violent, more brutal Batman who is willing to kill and killed to the extreme and he's also wearing all white which is so freaking good guys there are so many good covers for this i pre-ordered every single one of these because i am just so excited for this book one of my favorite writers my favorite artist and this is just going to be a banger of a book. I believe this is a five issue mini. It's going to be a four or five issue mini. But guys, you need to be picking this up. This is going to be this is going to be amazing. This is going to be so good. I'm not saying speculating on it. I'm saying pick it up because this story is going to be freaking nuts. And after that, we have Spawn Unwanted Violence issue number one. Now this is a two issue mini series written by Todd McFarlane and art by Mike Del Mundo. That is the main reason why I put this book on this list because Mike Del Mundo is an amazing artist and. And I want to see what he does with the Spawn character in this two-issue mini. And it's also written by Tom McFarlane. It's also a nice little mini side story. So you don't really need to know the whole breadth of the whole Spawn universe. So that's the main reason why I put this book on this list. Because, you know, it's a nice little taste of Spawn. But let me read the synopsis for you guys. Information can be one of the most valuable resources in the world. It can also be one of the most difficult to obtain. Luckily for Spawn, he has Freak. The Freak is a master of getting what he needs out of a sub. Subject. But as Freak works at extracting the whereabouts of File F, Al witnesses the act of senseless violence, one that he just can't ignore. The writing team of Todd McFarlane meets the incredible art of Mike Del Mundo and spawn unwanted violence. And again, this is a two-issue miniseries. I am really excited for this. I like Spawn a lot. I haven't really enjoyed a lot of the story as of late. You know, I am. I admit, I am at least 12 issues behind on all the Spawn titles, but I am a fan of him. And the last book that I think you guys might want to consider for the story itself is a good one with Barbaric Hell to Pay. Now, this is the third story arc in Barbaric, and so far, the first arc was amazing. I'm like halfway through the second arc. It is so freaking good. And guys, this is written by Michael Morici and art by Nathan Good. 
Wooden, and I am just so excited. All right, guys, let me read the synopsis for this. And if you guys haven't read Barbaric, go pick up the trade paperbacks and dig in. It's so good. Barbaric is back and headed straight to hell in this all new arc. So big and bloody, it's getting an extra issue. And I believe there are six issues. Now we're getting a seventh issue in this story arc, which I'm so exciting. Um, while Owen tames a dragon with an old friend, Soren and Steel cross paths with someone else from our cursed barbarian's past who isn't looking nearly as friendly. Hell has no fury like a woman stabbed through the heart by an ugly f orc. I mean, come on. And no, wait, who is carrying Axe? If you don't know, Axe is a character in the Barbarian story. He is a sentient Axe and he talks and when he murders people, he eats and drinks their blood and that blood makes him drunk, which is so it's amazing. It is so freaking good. All right, guys, those are the four books that I think you guys should be considering pre-ordering on Final Order Cutoff because you do not want to miss out on these stories. These stories are so good. Or you guys can tell your local LCS by this weekend, get yourself some of these covers, get yourself some of these books because you're not going to want to miss out. All right, guys, that is Final Order Cutoff speculation and recommendation. Let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, you guys have made it to the end of the video. You guys know what I'm about to say. Guys, if you made it this far, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And you guys are legends. You truly are. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And if you guys are not subscribed and you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you guys are getting yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notification and smashing that like button. And last but not least, guys, do not forget that tomorrow night, December 16th at 10 p.m. Eastern. Comics and Beer is back for episode number 101. It's our holiday episode. There's going to be beers drank, comic book news, games to be played, and best of all, giveaways every 15 minutes, 10, 15, 10, 30, 10, 45, and 11 o'clock. So make sure you guys are there and make sure you guys download the Kahoot app because that is how you will be able to join in the games that we played that will be winning you those prizes. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll be back next week for my must-have pickups. I'm going to record one of the first or maybe two of the best of 2022. I'm going to do a DC video, a Marvel video, and an indie video. But I'll, they'll probably come out Marvel, DC, and then indie. There's so many indie. Whoa. There's so many indie titles on my list right now. I just need to whittle it down to the top five because, man, there are just so many good indie books in 2022. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And let's end this video already. Thank you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.